Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So guys, today I'll show you this. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can remove any kind of dress and you can add by using some cool advanced smart vector process. So without wasting any time, what you guys are waiting for? Let's get started. So guys, uh, you can see this footage is from Avengers Age of Ultron and guys uh, trust me this tutorial will be a lot of fun because this will be a funniest tutorial I have ever made. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all I have to take a by pressing tab, a smart vector slightly like this and then connect the smart vector to like this. So now you got the error. If you don't, if you uh, guys are still not watch my last tutorial, that tutorial is based on this complete smart vector where I show you the how to remove anything from smart vector by using smart vector. So this is also I'm using smart vector, but in this time, in this time, I am showing you that how you can add something or anything by using smart vector. So first of all, what you have to do, leave this vector details at 0 0.3 because I already done this before. So I know that 0 0.3 is a good output. So then uh, select from this folder option and just go to your folder. And what they make a folder for like uh, EXR and OK, then like smart underscore, sorry, underscore vector and then four hashes one two three four and then dot exr then press open so guys <clears throat> why i am doing it like vector detail 0 0.3 because if you're increasing it from 0 0.3 to 1 it unnecessarily takes so much time so just leave it 0 0.3 and then if you have any custom frame range then put global or custom but i have only three zero one two three five four frame range so just leave it like this so then just press render so guys, it will take some time to render. It in, in fact, like five to six minutes, it will take some time. So when it will render, I'll get back to you that how it will look like. So the render is done and I'll show you how it will look like uh, when the smart vector is exactly look like, like from here, RGB to smart vector. So now you can see this is a smart vector output. I know it's little, I mean, uh, complex, but don't worry. Don't worry about this. So just stop this. Go to the first frame because whatever we are doing we have to do it in the first frame so then uh, just leave it from rgba and then let's go here and then we have to take our thing what we and want to add on that body just connect it to here for seeing this now my idea is i want to add a iron man suit only the chest part on this captain america body uh, it's like it will look like completely like a skin fit textured t-shirt or you can say one kind of skin fit jersey so just import that so press R on my keyboard and I already have that in PNG so you can see it it will look like this if you want this one as well uh, link is in description just go it will uh, Google Drive link and download and if you have any query for the query then please let me know <coughs> Okay, so then just press tab and take a pre melt like this. Now you can see it's now completely in uh, PNG mode. Press A on your keyboard, you can see this is in alpha. Okay, so now what I have to do pre melt, take it like this. Then if you connect by pressing M, you can see uh, this is our basic output will merge after. So I have to uh, add this thing on this body. So just delete this merge. Okay, connect it to pre-mult. Now take a reformat node, connect it to here. Now the reformat is very important because press first of all, when you connect this to this input, you can see it's 1920 by 804. And if you press S on your keyboard for project settings, you can see this should be 1920 by 804. So now it's fine. I have to do this before starting this tutorial. But okay, no issues. Now take this reformat node, double click, and it should be same resolution. So now connect it to the hair, and see this is little bigger. So what you have to do, take a transform node uh, under this pre-mult, and then scale it down. So now you can 
scale it like this okay now it's fine okay so now what i have to do take a vector distort like this <clears throat> then what you have to do smart vector should go come here and the source will come here then connect to the c now c nothing is happening because we didn't merge this to this output so now what we will do we'll take a merge node and then this a pi for foreground and b is for background as you all know then this connect to the a pipe to this vector distort and this b to this input so now connect this viewer to this merge node now you can see the both inputs are right now visible <clears throat> but we have to do one thing we have to take this transform node and move it here and scale it down or scale it up like this yep now it's fine now see this character behind captain america is in one kind of perspective mode little little bend uh, tilt so we have to make this shape on this body that should look properly now if you play in this time you can see that suit is stick on his body but uh, for the perspective reason you can see this area is going outside of this character so that's why you have to fix this so for using for fixing this we have to use the grid wrap node as you all know grid wrap is the most important tool in prep so just select this go down and take a tab grid wrap and connect this grid wrap under this transform node so now we can see it's a big changes here because <clears throat> we have to make this grid wrap only this much area so resize this resize this okay fine now what you have to do turn off this visible and turn on this one and then division should come like three is fine now <clears throat> make a box uh, for this uh, photo so just move it to here oh, sorry from here source wrap to source then move it to here and let's move here select all this come here okay, this one also I know this will look really weird but we have to do this otherwise the output will not come properly because we have to make this proper way now see like this now select all this press Z now it's become smoother so now you can save it like this something like this and it's almost fine so now we have our own grid for only this much area so now what I have to do select this copy select this copy and select press here for paste now whatever we have in this source grid we paste that in destination grid now turn this on visible and from here source to source wrap now if you move this you can see this is moving but you can see under this you can see that main image is still visible so what do you have to do background from source to on destination so now it's gone so okay so just select on destination now what you have to do you have to wrap it properly so just wrap it like this it's fine now see this is a neck part so we have to make it properly so just move it like this fine and this should go here now see this is a chest part so we have to make this little larger so just increase it like this and uh, yep it's fine this area is as well and this is fine so when you're happy with your output uh, I'm still not happy because we have to do lots of things here this grid wrap will if we, this grid wrap will not done properly your ultimate output will not you, you will not get that proper output so just make it I'm doing it roughly but you guys have to do this in a proper way otherwise I, as I told you before starting this tutorial your output will never never come proper see it's a little like this so come here it's fine okay right now it's almost done so you, you you can do it your own time you can take so much time but I am leave it like this okay it's fine okay because uh, how many times you're doing you still thought that this is not fine let's do more let's do more so then press this X format now when you play this you can see this will stick 
to, on his body but see this area is still out of this image so I have to go to the first frame and I have to maintain this little, little bit it's not too much slightly this way yeah this fine when you go here this one yeah this is fine yep this is fine so whenever you are uh, at adjusting this one it will get a keyed here say so this is a 301 first keyframe 322 second keyframe so don't take so much keyframes otherwise your output will destroy okay so press ex and now you play this you can see this tick on its uh, body uh, I know this will uh, distort but you can track and you can add a real uh, arc reactor on his body but I am sh I want to show you that this will look like a skin fit textured uh, t-shirt so I'll go to the first frame now we have to maintain the colors because see this is a too much bright and these colors are a little dull little uh, dusty so what you have to do I'm just drag it down and we have to take a grade node behind beside under this and take the multiplier down now it's become a darker and then select a color correction tab over the saturation little down and contrast little up and then go to this shadow saturation and see it's coming all don't make full uh, same color because our main concern is we have to make this look like it's a skinny textured dress so slightly like this then the mid tone saturation also down now go to the master saturation press this one option now you can control your colors from here so i'll make a good color for this so let's contrast it likely gain a little bit down and it's a little up so the red is most visible the green is not yep this is fine okay so this much is fine for this now you can see this one is little blurred but this is really uh, sharp so we have to take a edge blur edge blur now what is edge blur edge blur is getting blurred these edges now see this is three so make it one no two is fine now see this edge is blurred properly and if you want you can make a overall blur i just try once that how it look like place b for blur and then like one so <clears throat> if you turn this off by pressing D you can see those difference now see this is a main image and this is my blurred image see I think this is better so leave this blur like this and uh, I have to rearrange everything because we have so many nodes over there so I'll get back to you when the rearranged will done okay guys so press space here so I want to show you the exact nodes so this is our BG we add smart vector, smart vector to vector distort and this is our PNG image, we have connect this to premult and then transform, grid note, sorry grid wrap, then grade for color correction and color correction for the saturation and all then we add the edge blur and the main overall blur then it connect to the reformat and under this the merge overlay so this is our main, uh, what you can say, you can uh, say this like nodes and then when you play the overall footage you can see your Captain America is now put on his body Iron Man suit so hope you really love this thing you can add so many color correction under this merge node for better purpose I, I really prefer this because uh, whatever you are doing you have to make color correct otherwise your all the things are not coming good so let's color correct a little bit so slightly like this saturation a little up and contrast little little back down and then the mid-tone highlights you just take your own time and do it more accurately and then I'll just select from here the saturation little uh, different colors yeah now it's fine okay so this is done now press it big screen and press F now play so guys this is it for today hope you really enjoyed this cool funny tutorial and if you really love this don't forget to comment down below like and subscribe and those guys are still not watch my previous tutorials go and link is in description and watch so i will see you in my next tutorial till then have fun stay healthy bye bye